Hi team, it's Darren Joblin here from Trade Guider. Just a quick video on how to set your charts up on the new MT4 platform. So we're going to jump straight in into the charts now. So as you can see, we have our have our chart in front of us. So how are we going to build our chart from scratch? If we if we click on this this button here in the corner if I can draw your attention to the corner new chart create a chart so we have this this template of a, of a new chart so what we're going to do is we're going to right click scroll down to templates in templates we're going to click on trade guider 45 which now brings us up our VSA charts our indicators intermediate and short-term trending systems in our volume thermometer now what I like to do with this is take this grid off the background so if you press ctrl G as you can see it takes that grid off if you want to put that grid back on if you just press ctrl G again then you can have that that grid back on what I like to do is to have the intermediate trending system and the volume thermometer matching colours. So what I'm going to do, if you right click on the intermediate trending system, under the trend properties, if we click this green, double click, take, change it to whatever colour you want, my preference is lime green click on lime green press ok and then as you can see we have now our bullish volume is lime green now with the volume thermometer it's exactly the same process if you press the volume thermometer right click press the volume thermometer properties then we can go in the volume thermometer now I want to change this this magenta color double click to red press OK and now you can see we have matching volume thermometer and intermediate trending system so what what we want to do now we have our chart if we wanted to save this th this is a profile you have your chart in front of you if you click two or three times depending on how many charts you want new charts in the corner if we go up to this bar if I can draw your attention to the tile window and we click the tile window now what you can see is here are my existing charts here are the new charts that that, that we've just created so you can right click down to templates trade guider 45 click on again right click back into templates trade guider scanner click on it again control G and takes off the the grid so if if you wanted to, to create a chart book or profiles as the R and MT4 it's it's simple to if you open your market watch window and it's simply just drag and drop so as you can see I'm just left clicking the mouse dropping it left click the mouse dropping it and you can do that for for all, all of your time frames if if you're using multiple charts so as you can see we're going to change all of this to to USD Swissy then if, if if we go now into uh, back to our profiles you can see we now have the USD Swiss so what, what now we have we have a weekly daily four hourly hourly we have a, a one minute a five minute a 15 and a 30 minute chart so to change any of the time frames if you want to change that time frame from weekly to four hourly 
click if I can draw your attention to these these buttons on your toolbar to change your time frames if you want to move the time frame you can simply drag a particular time frame to anywhere on the bar and move it from from this point to this point so literally you know we could change this daily to one minute we can change this four hourly to a five minute we can change this hourly to a 15 we can change this one minute to an hourly this 15 minute to the four this 15 minute to the daily this four hourly to the weekly and this 30 minute to a monthly so as you can see if you forget about these 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 are the charts that we created earlier so you can see it's very simple to to set you to set your profiles up now how we save the profile we now have the our one minute up to our monthly chart we have our color settings the way we want them so how do we save the profile if I can draw your attention to the top corner here profiles if you left click on profiles save profiles then we can give this a name which whatever you want to do if it's if it's the stock symbol or any particular group you that that you want to save I'm just gonna call this test because I don't want it to to be in my pro I want it easy to be removed from my profile so if we click on test if I can draw your attention back to the profiles bar we highlight that there's our profile with the charts in under test you can see it's has a, a tick next of it which means that that is the the profile you're looking at at the moment so if if we go back to euro usd this takes a moment to load and you can see there there's there's a, a profile of, of, of the USD it, it's got a couple of demo charts in as well which which I was just just playing with um previously to recording this video so if if we want to move the charts back to where we to where we are everything's in alignment if there's a chart a particular chart you don't want if you left left click then right click close so left click to highlight it right click to open the drop down box and then you can close that chart then you simply go back into profiles save as and give it the same name euro usd and it'll then save your new profile with the chart that you've deleted now removed so th this covers the basics of setting up your charts guys which is what the, the the purpose of these small videos is just to give you some information on you know from the very the, the very basic concepts of, of setting your charts up and your profiles up we will be producing more detailed videos on how to set your alerts your emails how to use the scanner function and so on but so what we're trying to do guys is build up an archive of material that you can reference at any time to be so you can build up your own knowledge of mt4 so i hope this video helps please feel free to email me with any questions or queries at darren.jobling at .com. Thanks very much for your time. Have a wonderful day and see you again on the next video.